second chapter. Lesson number 11. The various elements of your show, the adjustment menu. Part 3. We saw in the previous part, orders rotation, mirror effect, and the application of vignette mode. In this third part, we will see the corrector of red eye by flash effect, the red eye control, and the controller to resize your layer, the crop command. Open the slide editor and add a layer of type image. Now see the red eye correction. What? There is a problem. The controller is not accessible. Do not panic, this is normal. Indeed, in part, Prosha control this corrector, and if it does not detect this defect in your layer, the command remains inaccessible. Indeed, this picture is perfect and does not need correction. So open another picture with this problem. Ah! Now the controller is accessible. Click the command button to open the editor. This editor is composed of two parts. Right, the working window and visualization, and left, the list of selected part. We will select the parts of the image where corrections must be made. All the trimmings are made directly with the mouse in the preview window. First, we need to enlarge our image in order to select the area of the pupils. Using the mouse wheel, you can change the zoom image. Expand it. Eyes are not the center of the image, and zoom take the center of the visible at the beginning, for its work. The eyes are now out of the frame. Right click, and your cursor will turn into a hand closed shape, move your mouse, and that's moving the image, in the view frame, in the same direction that your movement with the mouse. For releasing this command, made a left click. Repeat these operations, to framing your eyes in area provided. Now we will select the two areas of the pupils, which should be made the corrections. To do this, you will select a square area encompassing closer, the first pupil. Place your cursor on superior corner of the area to be selected, left click, hold, and drag your cursor to the lower right corner of the area to select. When you release the click, the selection box is created and appears in your list right. You can adjust your selection by placing your cursor on one of the small squares bordering, and when you're on one of them, your cursor turns into a double arrow, show you where you can change direction size. If needed, click on the square, with the left mouse button, and drag while holding the click until the correct position. You can also move the area by placing your cursor in the center of it. It turns into four arrows, click and hold, and drag the box to the desired location. As soon as a zone is selected, the correction is automatically performed there. You can see the result before and after the list of zones. Repeat this operation for the second eye. You now have two areas of action of this publisher in the list. You can delete each area by selecting it in the list by a simple click, it will be highlighted in blue, then click the minus sign in the right corner of the superior list, right next to his name. Once the necessary corrections, click OK to apply to your layer, or, cancel to close on ignoring these changes. As for the vignette control, as well as the following two commands, after apply changes, the selector command will check automatically, and the effect is applied. If you unkit, the action will be suspended, and if you check again, its action will be restored. For this command and for the crop control, there is no predefined trimming. Also, if you check their command box without having previously made trimmings, no effect will be brought to your layer. Let's see now, the crop command. This command allows you to crop and resize your layer, and to use only the part that interests you, or, to put it to a desired dimension. Like the previous command, click the button to open the editor. The upper part is composed of the window provided in editing, and the lower part gives you the information of the applied cutting. In order, size, in the line, size, rotation in the line, 
rotate, and cutting positions in the line. Crop. Only the rotation control is only possible in this space. See how made it. First, you can directly select the desired area with the mouse. Place your cursor at the first corner, then click the left mouse button, hold the click, and move the cursor to the opposite corner on the desired selection. Your layer fades in the area provided, and only the chosen part remains in normal mode. Moreover, it is surrounded by a border demarcation, on which this 8 checkpoint is small square. In the information area, you now have the new size of your selection, and position it over the original layer. For to say, the distance from the upper left corner of the left, right, upper and lower cutting border. In this example, the distance from the left edge against the left superior corner is 31 pixels, from the right edge. 478 pixels, if we subtracted the left value of the right, for say, 478 least 31, we have well 447 pixels, which same the size of the cut. You can now, adjust your framing, either directly with the mouse, or, by changing the value in the numeric fields. With the mouse to change the size of the area, you put on one of the squares bordering it, and you can change the position of edges of joining the cell square control. To move your selection, place your cursor inside the selected area, then it will turn into a four arrows. Click and hold the click, then move your mouse to move the selection to the desired position. You can also modify the cropping, by changing the digital values in the area size and position. If you change the size value, the upper left corner will remain at its position, that the lower right will be moved to get the size specified area. You can crop with the distance values, using the method of calculation as we have seen, that is the size of your layer is equal to the distance from the edge farthest from the left superior corner, less, the distance from the nearest edge. Now see the option, rotate of this editor. You must know that any action to change the rotation of your layer, result in resetting your cut. It is therefore important to always rotate before cutting. To rotate your layer, you can either Move the slider control located in the rotate line, or write directly the value in your digital fields to the right of the cursor. Therein, the value is expressed in degrees, and is adjustable between minus 360 and 360 degrees. Do a test, and introduce the value then minus 19 degrees in the digital field. Your layer is now pivoted in the counterclockwise direction of 19 degrees. In fact, the values of negative rotation provide a counterclockwise rotation, and the positive values a clockwise rotation. We also note that the selection has been removed, and most importantly, the size of your layer is also changed. Indeed, the equivalent size is now the fictitious rectangle bounding closer to your layer, and also the position of trimming the left superior corner is out of your layer. But now, if you apply a cutout using directment writing values, you must take into account the empty space in the rectangular area including your layer. It is better to create the selection area using the mouse, than to rectify, or, always with the mouse, or, using numerical values. It is also important to know that if your selection is out of your layer, the outside part is not transparent, but in black color. Create your desired selection, and click OK to apply to your layer, or, cancel, to exit it without making changes. Same as for the four controls in this group, and said previously, the activation box is now checked, and activates the trimming defined in the editor. See further, these trimmings can also be essential for the proper functioning of styles that you create, because it is many time important, to keep the same proportion and shape of your layer, to have movements or coherent meeting. In the next lesson, we will see the last part of the menu editing tools. Thank you for your attention.